let us look at chemistry paper 2. The first question is from organic chemistry. I give the systematic names for the following compounds. You have been given the first compound here. You need to look at it and then identify which type of compound is this. Uh, you look at the this from C to here. You can see the functional group is R C O O H. So that tells you this is an alkanoic acid. The next thing after identifying that this is an alkanoic acid, then you count the number of carbon atoms, one, two, three, that tells you that this is propanoic. Propanoic acid. That tells you that one is propanoic acid. The next compound, you look at this, and whenever you see CH, yeah, there is double O, <coughs> excuse me, double O in between, then you should know that one is an ester. The process of forming this one is esterification, where an alcohol, alcohol, alcohol is reacting with an alkanoic acid, with an alkanoic acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. So this compound here, it is, we start from here, 1, 2, ethyl. This is ethyl. Ethanoid, 1, 2, ethanoid. So the alkyl part comes from the alcohol and the uh, alkanoid part comes from the acid. Then the last one, the third number three, here, you may, when you look at this one, you may not tell exactly what it is. So we don't know whether this is an alkene, an alkene, or an alkyne. What you do, count the number of carbon atoms, one, two, three, four. Uh, write the structural formula for that compound. Once you have done that, so put the hydrogen, that's the first carbon has got one hydrogen. The second one does not have an hydrogen. The third one has got two. The fourth one has got three. Now you are aware that each carbon atom must be surrounded with the four covalent bonds. So look at the, this one. One, two, three, four. It's okay. One, two, three. It's okay. Four. And look at this carbon number one and number two, one. This one has got only one, two. What about this one? This one has got one, two. So what is missing? Uh, if you put a double bond, another dash here, a covalent bond, still this one will be one, two, three, one, two, three. So it means you had another one again. So we will have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Therefore, this compound is an alkyl, is an is an I don't know, uh, alkene, alkenes, alkynes, it is an alkyne. Triple bond means it is an alkyne, alkyne. Therefore, uh, this one is now, the, the double bond, the functional group is in carbon number one. Therefore, we say, put one, ion. And that is the stigmatic name for that compound. The scheme below shows a series of reactions starting with ethanol. Start it and answer the questions that follow. So before you go to the question, you you are likely you are supposed to analyze this chart, this flow chart properly, because you have read the concept, the content. Now look at this. We are starting with the ethanol. What does ethanol undergo to form ethanoic acid? This is ethanol. This is ethanoic acid 1, 2, ethanoic. Therefore, this one is oxidation. So step 2 is oxidation. What are the reagents that are used in oxidation? We know we use acidified bosasa permanganate or 7 or acidified potassium dichromate those are the, the, the no that we have talked about now now let's go to step uh, what two step three here step three what's happening ethanol one two ethanol is undergoing a certain step 
forming one two forming ethene this is ethene so which step is this step three is dehydration the hydration is the removal of water from a compound so water has been taken away this oh has been taken away to remain with the ethene here so we have ethene dehydration the conditions necessary for the dehydration to occur is conch sulfuric acid conch sulfuric acid step four step four ethene one two either ethene is undergoing a step four to perform a polymer this is k is a polymer it must be a polymer it is a polymer Uh, then we will know, of course, this is thin. This is going to be polyethin. So the polymer here is polyethin. So K is polyethin. That one is obvious. Now let's go to prod uh, step one. This one, um, this is ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is reacting with magnesium. It reacts with magnesium to form products here. So this is an acid, remember? An acid plus a metal is going to form a salt plus hydrogen gas. So the product here is going to form magnesium ethanoid, magnesium ethanoid, magnesium ethanoid plus hydrogen gas. Those are the products. But when ethanol is reacting with magnesium, or a metal any metal it forms magnesium ethoxide ethoxide plus hydrogen gas so that is the difference ethanol we react with magnesium to form a salt called magnesium ethoxide while ma ethanoic acid we react with magnesium to form magnesium ethanoid so that is the difference now step here ethanoic acid we is reacting with sodium hydroxide to form sodium ethanoid this one is sodium ethanoid sodium ethanoid is undergoing step four to form uh, methane this is methane methane is undergoing the process here in excess chlorine to form compound z so which step this process here where we use uv light is called substitution substitution because we know alkenes does not uh, undergo an main reaction other than combustion and the substitution because substitution uh, because alkenes are saturated are uh, saturated therefore they don't have much reactions so we are going to see compound Z. Compound Z is uh, we, we are going, we are going to form excess. If it is excess, we are going to form C C uh, four tetrachloromethane. We are going to form tetrachloromethane here. Then we have so the when you, this one is heated methanol, we are using methanol and uh, ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid not in ethanoic but ethanoic acid yes plus methanol this is an as alkanoic acid plus an alcohol that process is esterification we are going to form an ester because in the presence of sulfuric acid we are going to form an ester and the uh, and water is formed so which what, what will be the name because the acid the the alcohol no the alcohol is methanol so we are going to form We are going to form a uh, methyl, methyl uh, ethanoid. This one is going to X is methyl ethanoid. 
methyl methyl ether ether no 8 which we will write CH3 COO CH3 this is an ester called methyl ethanoid methyl ethanoid so ukisha jambua na muna hiyo now you can go to the questions and try to see what the question required you to do name the type of reaction the, the type of reactions and the conditions in steps step 2 so step 2 so we have said step 2 step 2 here is oxidation the conditions are there we need heat that is temperature uh, yes so that one is oxidation the condition is you warm the reagents now that is the reagents that we need you can use acidified potassium bimanganate this H refers for uh, is for acidified or you can use acidified potassium dichromate stroke So, any of this one can work best. Uh, step 3, type of reaction taking place in step 3. So, we go back to step 3 and look at that. Step 3, step 3 is dehydration. The conditions necessary is sulfuric acid. So, you see, you have done already finished. You are just copying what you have done. This one is dehydration. reagent is conch sulfuric acid you can simply write sulfuric acid but you are told name the types of reagent reactions reagents name 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 so you are asking to give the name please don't write the chemical uh, uh the chemical so like here it is important you write acidified potassium pangadate 7 because that is the name that is here they, they consider that because they say the name if they say the identify you can write it any, any other thing but for the name here write uh, this is warming here you write acidified potassium manganate seven So here is sulfuric acid. It is important you know that whenever you ask it to give the name, it should be the name and not the chemical symbols. So this one is conch. Sulfuric. acid so the condition we need a temperature temperature of 160 to 180 degrees Celsius whenever you ask it to name give the name and not otherwise write the equation for the reaction taking place in step one step one so we can look at the reaction in step one so what is in step one there step one is ethanoic so step one is ethanoic reacting with with magnesium to form magnesium ethanoid so this one is simply CH3 
Let's see. see. So that is the equation that you are required to write. Name the product x. X is methyl ethanoate. We said that is the ester. Methyl ethanoate. Identify the process leading to the formation of compound Z. Compound C, actually that was substitution. So we say the compound Z. This is where we had we had a compound Z from that is substitution. We said here is the substitution, and that is the process of forming compound C. And the compound C, because they are using excess chlorine, then it is going to form tetra. Meth methane, tetramethane, chloro, tetrachloromethane. Identify the process. The process is substitution. Substitution. Name compound K and state one of its uses. Compound K. Is a polymer and we say that polymer is polyethylene. So what are the uses of polyethylene? The uses of polyethylene. So the name the, the polymer is polyethylene. Uses are many. Used in the manufacture of plastics. Manufacture of plastics pipes manufacture of paper bags plastic bags using the manufacture of insulation insulators insulators and many others uses the mm so that is 12 carbon one carbon is 12 12 there are two of them then plus hydrogen is there are four times one so we will have everything times n this is 24, 24 plus 4, so we have 28N will be equal to the total mass, which is that 9, 200. So 28N is equal to that 9, 200. You divide by both sides by 28, divide by both sides by 28, so N will be 1400. So there will be in this compound which contains this mass, there will be a 1400 monomass that will form this polymer here.